Keegan and Joshua, you guys got the season started on the right foot, went down, made that long trip to El Paso, got a win to come back. That always helps. But coming back to work this week, what have you guys looked at that game and kind of assessed what you did well and what some things you need to work on? Go ahead, Josh. Um, you know, we did a good job last week in the win. That's always where we want to go on the road. But we did a lot of things that we need to work on, like penalties in the first half. Um, I know I had a penalty. Uh, Holding, you know, we just need to be better as a team, you know, clean up some stuff. In the first half, we went out swinging like we always want to do, but in the second half, it kind of fills it out. So we need to work on our conditioning and being more disciplined as a team and as a whole. So that's what I think we need to work on. Keegan, you guys had a freshman quarterback behind you. Offensive line wise, how much did you have to make sure that you did everything to make him as comfortable as possible? Uh, I think we for sure needed to do a little extra this week as we break him in a little bit as he gets used to the varsity experience. Um, I think he did really well. I think we had him comfortable back there for the most part. Um, I think this week for Big Spring especially, we'll need to get more prepared because of how physical they are up front. And I just mentioned a coach. The quarterback put up numbers, so he was doing something right, which means you guys were doing right. Same, same with you, Joshua. What did he do well as a young quarterback out there the first time at the varsity level? Um, I think about this all the time. I think about his IQ is really good, especially for his age, being so young and being so adolescent. Um, I feel like like how other QBs, they probably fold under pressure, but he really does take his time and looking at his receivers, and he does actually do pretty good to step up in the pocket. So that's it's a credit to the old line and everybody around him. All right, Keegan, you mentioned Big Spring. We've got to shift gears here pretty quick. What have you seen about them that kind of catches your attention right off the bat? I mean, Big Spring's always a physical team. They're always big, strong, you know, athletic. So, I mean, all we have to do as a, as a team really is is figure out where they're going to come from, if Blitz is coming, you know, the usual. Got to find who to block, which level to block, who's important, who plays both sides, whole nine. So I think as long as we can figure out who their main people are and run them down so that they're gassed, we should be fine. I'm talking to you guys from an offensive standpoint, but I'm going to guess you both dabble in defense too, yes, like yes, everybody sir. here does. Yes, Joshua, from that perspective, what does their offense do that's kind of like attention getting? Well, since I play DB, the receivers, they do do both sides of the field. And so the receivers, especially one of them, is pretty big. And so we're going to have to watch out for them. You know, we're not going to have to, we're not going to go in the game and be stagnant or be sure we got to go in and ready to fire off and hit them in the mouth because if we don't we're going to get hit in the mouth and we want to get that game won at home especially since that crowd and that hostility there so we want to make sure that we do good. This has kind of been, been a theme talking to you guys since going back to the summer there's just kind of a different level of confidence with this program where does that come from Keegan? Um, I think it comes from our three and four year Starters or varsity players like Jackson Coot and, and Zeke Rodriguez, and in addition to me and Josh, um, as as we have more of a leadership this year, and we have older guys that are willing to, you know, lead the younger guys through through um, just being better, getting reps, and we we have more of a positive community here this year. And one thing, Joshua, that I, struck me about the first game, and as we were coming into this season, is. There's a little bit more versatility and maybe a little bit more more options on offense, let's put it that way. Yes. Yeah, now, the freshman quarterback thing was kind of at the last minute, but it seems like he's got, for a young guy who's out there, he's got some different weapons to choose from. Mm -hmm. How much um, different is that this year? Oh, I feel like it's really good. I feel like our receiving core is really good. We have a constant rotation at running back, especially the whole line puts everything together. We can't do anything about the whole line. So. We got to appreciate them, but we also know that we got all weapons around the field. We don't have a weak link on the offense, I don't feel like. And so I feel like with this offense is that we have everything that we need to do is just trusting our coaches and trusting our play. And we're good at the end of the day.